Hey everyone, this is Stacy with SF Johnson Consulting and Construction Services. And here we are going to take a look at the HVAC plan and uh, the estimate for that. And so this is our biggest project and always in the HVAC system you, or HVAC set and on your estimates, you don't really have to worry much about being able to count pieces of equipment like you uh, have to do in most things like in the plumbing plan you have to go to the uh, riser diagram or on one of the plans and count how many water closets how many labs or whatever but with the plumbing set you can just go from the equipment schedules and this is exactly the uh, equipment for your mechanical set and so uh, pricing it wise you know uh, everything now, when it comes to the equipment for my uh, mechanical and electrical, I really uh, prefer that they get that directly from their suppliers because getting that from a cost book might be a little underpriced or, you know, unless they have the standard stuff like exhaust fans, stuff like that you can get out of a cost book. And, uh, and I mean in terms of material cost. In terms of the labor rate, yeah, you're gonna get a comp. You're gonna look for a comparable uh, air handling unit. Find what the man hour totals are for that, and use that. Yes, because again, the main reason we use, I use the cost book, is to make sure that our man hour totals are on point. Okay, and we're not guessing stuff like that. So, so. As far as your estimate, you know, you can just go through and, you know, this is this project. So you can just go through and put all your equipment based on the schedule directly so you don't have to even look at the plan when it comes to the equipment. Okay, so that's all the equipment for the new location because remember the first one is from the ground up. And so all of that, and I did get the cost from our cost book on this, in this case, but advise the GC that, you know, you need to confirm with the supplier. But again, stuff like the exhaust fans, you can get that from a cost book. Because when we talk about exhaust fans, we really look at how much CFM, cubic feet per minute of air, and we price some comparable to that. So, you know, that's a small little bathroom fan. That's a bigger bathroom fan. And then these kind of for like, uh, like kitchens and that's cubic feet per minute. So, you know, we can use a cost book to price exhaust fans. Or you can always Google something like this and they'll give you a pretty good price for it. But again, we can use the, the uh, cost book. And for the ventilators too, same thing, CFM. So we can use that to determine the price because it's priced based on how much air it pushes out. Now, the bigger, the more air, the bigger the equipment, the more it costs. So that kind of stuff. And so let's go to the actual plan. And so we have the first floor and then the second floor, the mezzanine. And so what do we do? We just measure the two different types of uh, ductwork. Rectangular, and how many linear feet. And then we have to determine to add an additional mount for the adapter that changes from 14 by 12 to 8 inch spiral. And this, you know, dampers and uh, flexible ductwork, 8 inch flexible ductwork. And that's our supply grills are always X's. And then that number is that CFM number. How many cubic feet of air is going to be uh, out coming out of that supply grill. So that's how we read all that. So again, everything is about making the measurements and determining the cost for the uh, 45 degrees and 90 degree angles based on the size. And again, we look at the ductwork and so ductwork we do by the linear for the cost book all that and then how many 90s we had a couple of 45s for the different size ductwork 
And then for this, we're always going to add the ductwork, some lining for the ductwork. That's down there somewhere. And then all of the grills. And then ductwork lining. And then this one was pretty good. That's without overhead and profit added. So this is the biggest of the, of the three of the projects. And so really it's just, you know, straights rectangular 45 degrees you know and then some of them will tell you that it is going down and so anytime I have it going down I have um, I'll have a 90 and so like this is 16 by 18 ductwork going down so I'll add the 90 degrees for it to go down because as you can see, this 10 by 6, I am assuming that this 90 degrees is uh, coincides with this 16 by 18. So that's how we did it, two of these 90s. One for here, and then one going down, plus we add an additional 10 feet of conduit for the going down part, down to the first floor. And so those are the kind of things you want to always... Uh, look out for okay and you know that's pretty much it make all the linear measures and then all the angles 90 degrees 45 for the ductwork and then your grills and then all of your uh, again your uh, equipment you just get from the equipment schedule so all right, so that's the mechanical set, and then after that, we're going to we're going to look at each mechanical set for each of the three. So we'll have the middle project next, and we're going to review all of them. And then what we're going to do is now we're going to uh, we just leave it at area. We're going to look at how many square feet of each type of project we have. gonna add that and then so how we compare the price so we know that we have for this just in terms of the HVAC system we have 4,053 square feet and for 4,053 square feet from the ground up two-story building our cost, give or take, whatever, to add 25%, 10 overhead, 15 prop, whatever. So it's about 10% is another 15,000, 30,000. So 21, 210,000, 20, 15,000 maybe. So for 4,000 square feet building the cost from the ground up is overhead and profit 200 what I say 10,000 and then we're gonna look at the other one that'll be whatever its square footage is we'll look at its price and it's 18,000 55,000 whatever so but that one's not from the ground up, that's a renovation. And so the whole point of it is to, over time, over years, or especially over one year, you can kind of get a good idea of, we're doing this kind of work and this, it could range from 210,000 if it's from the ground up to whatever the renovation was, give or take 10 or 15%. So. You want to just keep those kind of things in mind because, especially if you're a general contractor, you know, they probably, you know, they do so many, they know, okay, I got a Wendy's or a Starbucks and it's uh, 3,500 square, square feet from the ground up. They know pretty much how much it's going to cost to build that only because they've done a million of them like this. So, if you have any questions... <clears> hmm. <throat> Make sure you email me at education at sfjohnsonconsulting.com. Let me know what you think. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like, and please subscribe. We'll be doing a lot of good things in 2023, getting all of that ready right now. And um, thanks a lot for all of your comments, and I will see you at the next video.